What happens when we go out on the golf course? We overthink, we overcomplicate, thinking about swing positions, too many things. But it doesn't have to be that way. I make that mistake many times, and I know many of you do too. But I want to take you to the practice range to show you that just a couple of fields you can use out on the golf course. Once you've kind of practiced them just a little bit here on the range, it's gonna give you some very easy checkpoints and most importantly, feels that you can apply on pitch shots, iron shots, and drives. When we throw an object, whether it's the club, a ball, whatever it might be, we, you included, will have a pretty damn good natural sequence. But for some reason, we get in our own heads when we're swinging and we try and manipulate everything. Instead of realizing that we have to sort of react and just sort of sling and throw something that way. I learned tennis to begin with when I was young. That was my first sport. I lost my way many years back about dialing into that natural instinct of hitting, you know, a forehand and slinging it through. What happens when I do that? We can often get too frustrated and focused, rather, about thinking about weight shift, what the hips are doing, what sequence am I dropping? I've got to put the hands down here. We need to make it easier than that. We have to, if we want to play decent golf out where it actually matters and not just on the rain. So what we're talking about is the right wrist and the trail arm and how the sequence is perfect when you allow it. What happens too often is the arms kind of tend to straighten with many of you, all right? We tend to sort of straighten and dump it down and try and sort of push the club through when we want it to be a natural sort of sequence and a full completion. But we want to have the weight of this club helping us and we want the body to help facilitate that, okay? So we're gonna do this in a couple of stages. And the first stage is this. I want you to just take your wedge, whatever it might be, narrow stance in just one hand okay and what we're going to do we're just going to start a little bit of momentum with this club swinging back okay but what we're going to do now is we're actually just going to add a little bit of sort of delay and all i'm doing is increasing the gap from the butt of the club to my forearm here okay i'm just increasing that gap here just as I sort of catch the weight of the club, I am moving back the energy, I'm moving it back towards where I want the ball to go. There, so it's this lag, if you will. And what I'm gonna do is transition through and close that gap as we swing through, okay? I'm closing that gap through to the finish. And what that does, it has a natural sort of lag and just an easy feel. Please try this right now. Grab a club, even without a club. You can feel this just with a small movement of your hands, okay? Just feel the weight of the club catch here and brush it back through. It's a very subtle, soft move. If you can feel it with the club, it's even better just to hear, all right? Everything's working very smoothly and succinctly. Let me know if you've tried it and if you're feeling it. I want you to really feel the rest of the body doing the work. This isn't just about the hands doing all of it. It's very important to feel that the body is sort of rotating through and clearing out the way. So this is where it gets a little bit complicated that we're catching the weight, we're increasing the gap here, but I'm not just using my arm. I am going to feel like my body is clearing out the way, that my core is turning through and I'm clearing out the way, that everything is sort of moving back that way, okay? That's the feeling that I want. Everything is moving that way, but it is so dialed in to that sensation of the club, the weight, now I turn. If you start feeling like you're a little bit disconnected, where the arms are kind of outracing the body or you're too far behind, what you can do, you're gonna place your left arm, or you, you know, your front arm over your trail arm here, and we are going to sort of maintain a little bit of connection from the upper body through. And I want you to try and practice that maybe 10 swings, just feeling that rotation 
that lag, that suppleness, okay, where the arm is already preset, the wrist is hinged, and we are turning through. With both hands on the club, we're just going back, rotating through. Once you have graduated doing a few pitch shots, we want to still kind of keep the power going in that sling feel. So we're going to ramp it up. We're gonna add the velocity to it, but we're also gonna stay a little bit connected and that's where this comes in. We can put this in our upper right arm. We do not want it too low down, okay? That's where people really get sort of stuffed trying to keep their elbows in. We just want the arms at the top of the chest sort of connected here because from there we can still get width, but now we get rotation and get through the ball. If you find that you have a bit of difficulty to get through the ball, open up your front foot. And you can even just pull it back a couple of inches. That's gonna help you clear out the way and get that extension and that slinging feel. There, okay? It brushes through, it slings through. It should be a very different sensation for you. Just to sling through. And it gives you so much more energy where it matters. And the better you get at it, the harder you can go this way, but it actually will start to feel like less effort in weight. Easy peasy. And when you're on the, out on the golf course, feel the same thing. And trust that it's not just about hitting these specific positions, it's about getting through and accelerating, straightening those arms and rotating. That's gonna cause you to commit to your shots.